Hello, uh, Robert. Uh, this is a personal prophecy for you. <clears throat> I hope this reaches you um, with grace and, and um, you, you see this and uh, appreciate uh, what has been spoken. Um, as I was preparing my coffee, I got the, um, the words treasure, that you're uh, a treasure to uh, Jesus that uh, you're a living treasure. Uh, I know uh, in the Bible we're all counted as treasures. We're all a specific treasure to the Lord Jesus Christ. But he wants you to know that uh, you're his treasure and uh, he wants you to know that uh, you're beautiful. And just like a treasure is made up of different jewels, uh, there's many facets to you that uh, impress uh, Jesus, uh, many things that uh, stand out and impress him. Uh, he's impressed with uh, your strong sense of wanting uh, unity in the body of Christ. Uh, you're a person who doesn't like factions and doesn't like arguments in the body of Christ. And you're a peacemaker. Um, you're a person who, who likes peace. Uh, you're a person who, who likes unity in the, in the brethren um, and you do your best to strive for unity. Uh, and um, I've uh, been in the middle of a few Facebook fights of, of late and uh, it, it pulls your spirit down and you're the person who would um, add balance to the arguments. Um, the, the Lord tells me you, uh, another facet of, of your, your um, treasure uh, is, is humility, um, that uh, you flow in humility and uh, it may have taken a few years to, to develop that humility but uh, you're a humble person and uh, the Lord loves that, he can use that. Um, you've often asked yourself where can I be used, um, how can I be used in the body of Christ and um, I know uh, that uh, the Lord uh, sees you as a giver, someone who gives um, freely, uh, who, who uh, freely gives, and uh, the Lord can certainly use people um, who've got um, wallets that are open uh, to the things of the Lord, and uh, he can do much through a person who's able to give, um, a person who's uh, not only willing to serve the Lord with their mouth, but serve the Lord with their wallet. And um, it's a tremendous gift you have uh, to give. Um, the humility is a tremendous gift and the peacemaker is a tremendous uh, gift that you have. Um, it says, uh, peacemakers are mentioned in the Beatitudes. I forget what um, it says about the peacemakers that they'll inherit the earth or something like that. Um, the Lord wants you to know that uh, he hears your prayers. Uh, you're a person who uh, has doubted uh, sometimes the authenticity, uh, the, uh, the specialness of your prayers. And um, he wants you to know that he listens to all your prayers and he listens to uh, what you have to say and uh, he loves you. And um, you're not to doubt your prayers. In fact, um, he would... Uh, encourage you to uh, pray for others and um, that your prayers are effective, uh, especially effective when you're praying for other people. Um, you seem to have that um, humility and peacemaker sort of spirit come into you uh, when you're praying for others. You've got a strong sense of uh, mercy um, that in, in you um, and um, that mercy kicks in uh, when you're praying for other people and uh, he, uh, he enjoys you praying for others. Um, one uh, tip, um, you could uh, write to major ministries and uh, ask them um, what their prayer needs are and um, get on um, their prayer teams and intercede for, for these ministries. Um, not only um, giving is an easy thing to do, but um, there's other um, more needed uh, things to be done in ministries Besides giving, um, there's other things like prayer that you can do and um, uh, you can do other things uh, for ministries besides just give to them. Um, um, the Lord uh, wants you to know that uh, he's very happy with you. Um, um, you're uh, 
a person who uh, who struggles a little bit with self condemnation, like we all uh, struggle with it. Um, you wonder whether you measure up, um, and uh, you wonder whether you're pleasing to God. Um, you you know in yourself that you're trying your best, but you wonder whether you're fully pleasing to God. And God wants you to know that to relax and um, that everything's fine and. Um, he loves you dearly for who you are and uh, what you're about. Um, he uh, recognises uh, your your zealousness and your uh, desire to share the gospel with others. And um, um, the the book I'll be sending you, my parables of Jesus, is a good book to share with non Christians. Um, it's a good book to share with other Christians. It's a good resource to have and. Um, I could certainly um, uh, allow you to. Uh, I could certainly um, through through email um, uh, and PayPal. We could arrange uh, for me to order ten copies um, at my price. Um, I get them for three dollars fifty each, um, and uh, we could order ten copies and postage to your place uh, for you to give them out. Um, the Lord uh, says there's going to be opportunities for you to minister and for you to witness. Um, there, there's uh, quite a number of people watching your life um, as it is at the moment that they know you're a Christian and you have an effect on the people around you. Um, it's your hu humility that shines the most uh, to people around you. you you're, um, you're a Christian but you're not conceited. Um, you're a Christian, but you're outgoing, and uh, you're uh, you're you're full of love and uh, compassion for um, people who are not saved, and they pick that up uh, in your um, attitude, and they realise that you're not looking down on them, and uh, not looking that at them as second-class citizens, and they're attracted to that. Um, there, there's a lot of light of of Jesus that shines in you. Um, and you do a good job um, of uh, advertising the Christian faith uh, to people that you might not even be aware of um, that uh, are paying attention to you and watching you. Um, so God wants you to know that you're a treasure and you're, you're much beloved by him and um, and uh, he wants you to uh, check out um, ministry sites uh, that uh, you can actually uh, pray and come on their prayer team and um, get uh, get prayer requests that they, they need praying um, um, and uh, do that. Uh, and uh, that's one thing that you can do that uh, will impact nations, will impact other people. Um, and uh, it's something that you can do with your time. Um, there's a little bit of uh, striving in you uh, to want to do more than what you're actually doing. And uh, so um, the Lord uh, wants you to uh, do that um, and pray because uh, he loves your prayers and uh, he honours your prayers. And uh, he, he honours you because you're humble. Um, that you wouldn't ask for many things that aren't his will um, because you've thought things through and you're a humble person and uh, he loves, he's especially close to the humble of heart. Uh, God bless.